Good morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning and it's about 19 degrees. <laughs> and I wanted to show you guys how I spend my morning. Even though it's cold, I like to go outside. So I'm going to show you how I do that to stay um, sane. Okay. The first thing I did was I got on my rower, my Vasa trainer this morning and rowed or kayaked essentially or kind of outrigger rowed until I got really warm and sweaty. Okay, then I was able to be hot so I could come outside and cool off. Okay, so it wasn't so detrimental to come out here and just freeze right away. The second thing I did, as you can see, is I'm in like full vest attire and long pants and I have wool socks on. But I'm sitting on the ground and I have my little buddy with me, my cat, and I also have gloves on. So I'm keeping my extremities and the parts of my body that might get cold the fastest, I'm keeping them warm and that way I can stay out here longer. Why am I out here? Because as you can see, I'm sitting on the ground. I'm getting some grounding before my day starts, just trying to get that natural um, magnetism of the earth that makes you feel so good. It's kind of the way you want to equate it is how you would feel if you walked on a beach. That feeling of just relaxed um, alertness, but calm sense of mind. I get that from being outside and being on the earth, connected to the earth is very important. It's not just like, oh, she's kind of crazy. She's kind of the hippie that believes in that kind of thing. No, it's, there's actually published studies about the benefits of grounding, but I want to be able to do it even when it's cold out. So that's why I have my little earth connected buddy and I'm sitting on the earth. I like my little gravel pile out here. That's what I sit on. And as you can see over there, the sun is coming up. And so I come out here and I want to watch the sunrise. I want to get this, that early morning a.m. sun in my eyes right when I wake up in the morning. So I take my glasses off because you don't want to wear glasses or contacts. And then you're able to let that sun filter right into your eyes. By doing this, this not only helps you get a little more relaxed because the sun is very healing. In fact, even the Bible says there's healing power in the sun's rays. Isn't that cool? Like ancient old wisdom still knows what it's talking about. And then also, um, I'm making serotonin right now by letting the sun filter into my eyes. So serotonin, as you may have heard me talk about, is the precursor to melatonin, which is our sleep hormone. If I don't do this every day, I don't have optimal sleep. I don't sleep well at night. So as kooky as this looks, it's actually really beneficial. And it's not that bad. If you cover up with like a vest, if you cover your torso, and keep your, your torso and your midsection really warm and your neck really warm and your hands warm and your feet warm, all of those things that get cold the fastest, you actually don't feel that your arms are cold and that you're getting a little uh, cooler than you'd like to be. And it doesn't take a long time. I'm gonna be out here for maybe three to five minutes, just enough to let that sun filter into my eyes. So I encourage you guys to try this, you know, get a little sweaty before you come out so you're not so um, cold already just hopping out of bed and going outside. Get a little sweaty, bundle up a little bit, cover up your extremities. Um, if you need to, cover up your head, wear a really warm scarf, and then come out here and see how long you can last. Find a little plot of grass, maybe take a woolen blanket, a natural fiber blanket that you could sit on and uh, still get that earthing energy and see what you think. Let me know what you think, okay? And enjoy the cold. We can embrace the cold if we get a little cold and get more adapted to it.